I got invited to do an experience of becoming a national team staff member for a day. That includes VIP entrance, being part of the players as they walk out in the tunnel, and even the best seats in the house. When I got the call up this morning, I had to go book a flight. Get me to Doha. The first time was so nice, I had to do it twice. But that, cat on. let's go. Welcome back to Qatar, one year on from a historic World Cup. Yes, we've returned for the AFC Asian Cup 2023. You're probably thinking, what am I actually doing here? I'm getting the experience of a lifetime. And it's all because of what they missed out on last year. A 2-0 defeat to Ecuador on the opening day at the World Cup at Al Bayat Stadium. The gaffer knew he needed to make a change and called in Thogo on a 24-hour deal. Could this be the secret to ending Qatar's poor recent record and help them get back to winning ways? The text from Tintin arrived and my first duty was fan engagement. Support is key to win football matches. So he wanted me to make sure the passion was there pre-match. So I headed straight to iconic Lusail Stadium to do just that. This is not Ecuador levels over here. I'm calling it. Inshallah, we're gonna win. Tell me, can Qatar go far? Because you are champions of this competition. I mean, I believe so. Yeah, we won 2019, yeah. yeah. But uh, I don't know if we'll win 2023, but if we do, we're gonna party, and we're partying hard. <laughs> Seven zero. It's crazy. You win the competition. Yeah, we'll see. It's a cauldron of football heritage. Ooh ah ka ta. I said ooh ah ka ta. Let's go. Let's go. Whilst getting the fans going, we had to set our mind to the next objective. Tintin Mark Quest text was through again, and just at that moment, we were given a surprise package. What's inside the envelope? Let's find out. Bang. Hoo hoo. Let's go. But we had a problem. We'd already gone through normal ticket entrance and I had a VIP seat. So I teamed up with fellow YouTuber Ben Black Come on, England. to try break through security to find a way in. Oh my god. <laughs> wow. This is sick. Let's go. The red carpet. Wow. We entered by the red carpet. We got given VIP wristbands. I've got to be quiet. They realize he doesn't have a real ticket. Yeah, yeah. Shh, shh. There was even a lift inside the stadium to our entrance. I just nearly got kicked out. No, we didn't. We, we didn't know we got kicked. They were the nicest people ever. Now, we had time to burn before my first in-stadium duty, so I went to my seat and watched the opening ceremony, which was unbelievable. As the fireworks went off, I couldn't hear it, but I got another buzz, which was a text from Tintin. It's 30 minutes till kickoff, and we've got the big very zero. special option. Stop now. it. We're taking the lift down. No, we're not. We might be going somewhere. You're lying. Let's find out where. We were taken through the depths of the stadium where nobody else could go to the tunnel which leads to the pitch. Here we go, Ben. I'm quaking here. That's because the Qatar players and the manager were about to enter the field in their first Asian Cup 2023 match against Lebanon. But just as I was about to speak to the players, I've realized that you haven't hit the like button. And if you don't, apparently your club or nation will not win this weekend. I had a few words with the players. One even recognized me. Well, and, you. <laughs> and then we led them out to the pitch. So we blessed the players, ran back upstairs and checked out the incredible food and drink on offer inside the stadium. You won't believe the experience we've just had. We were literally with those players as they walked out. Uh, they were all smiling at Fugden. They all knew him. They all watch his videos when he goes to Bolton. And they like and subscribe, apparently. They like Bolton videos. Yeah, they like, they like the Bolton videos. Anyway, we're underway. I have to say for the opening match, Qatar, Lebanon, you know, for two teams that you wouldn't expect to see that many fans there. It feels like almost 4.85k like or something. It's just, it's impressive to see. 1-0, the first goal of the tournament. Wow, is this loud? No, it's not this loud. A goal five minutes in has been ruled out here in Lusail. And nobody knows, look, everyone's got the flags out. It looks like the goalie's in pain and it will not count. There it is, the first use of VAR in the Asian Cup. Qatar Ulti. Doing like an Iceland clap around the stadium, look. Not bad. Hey, Lebanon, underdogs today, but do not give them a good chance because they will be up there. Brilliantly slotted finish from Afif. That's why he's one of the best players in this country. 
and he's clinical once again. We go into the break at 1-0. We're back on the way for the second half. Qatar, 1-0 up. Can they hold on? Will they, Ben? Uh, not. Oh, here we go, here we go! Oh! oh! What? What? You called it! You actually called it! Ali! With the second goal. In the Asian Cup. Even the police are surprised. Wow! We brought the luck walking back out. So, one of the fans said to us before the match, they lost 2-0 in the opening match against Ecuador, and they're going to win 2-0 in this one. And so far, it's looking good. They are in pole position. You know what? I'm going to reverse a little bit. Qatar uh, lost to Ecuador 2-0. Qatar will beat Lebanon 2-0. Ooh! Ali and Afif. Oh! Lebanon knocking back. The official attendance is announced. 83k. When you bring the biggest competition in the world here, you expect it, but not for the Asian Cup a year on. That is pretty good. Oh! Qatar 2, Lebanon 0. A very Full quiet time. second half. It's, 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 it's been wrapped up. It's yeah, three it was, points. You know what? They've got a wrap of paper. They've wrapped it up. They've yeah. won. First game, done and dusted. Qatar take the win. Well, they scored the five minutes in. VAR disallowed it. And they kept pressing. They kept pushing. Qatar could be in with another shout with holding this trophy. They need to keep going. When you've got Ali and Afif, players that good, there's always a chance. This tournament is going to be brilliant. Loads of new countries, 24. A lot of them never get a chance at the World Cup. And we are going to witness it every day here on this channel. Ben, it's been a pleasure. I will watch every single video and I'll make sure I'll subscribe. He's going home, I'm going to be staying. But go subscribe to his channel as well. Thank you very much. Have a good night. Let's go. We end the day in Lusail Stadium. Historic memories made in this place and Qatar get back to winning ways. Thank you for watching this video. Smash the like if you're happy to see me back in this nation covering the Asian Cup. Good luck to your country. Let me know in the comments which country you're supporting during this tournament. And make sure you follow my Snapchat. The barcode's on the screen now. Scan it because we're going to be inviting some fans along to some random games and that's the way I'll get to contact you. So see you in a bit. Bye-bye. Well, we've had a shocker. 10 minutes additional time on our way to get the Metro, and it's 3-0. Just like that. Qatar cooking. Never, Never leave a game early. Never leave a game early, but it was over. Anyway, and this is over now. Bye-bye. We may have missed the third goal, but we did something today that not many have ever done. Getting next-level access at the iconic Lusail Stadium where Messi lifted the trophy just a year ago. And now I got the assistant manager experience, the best food and drink in the stadium, and finally ending the Qatar curse as we led them to a 3-0 battering. The Asian Cup has started with a bang and we are going nowhere. The content is coming thick and fast, so smash the like and see you tomorrow.